Phoenix is not only happening on the um, just mortgage protection world, but in simplified issue business itself. My name is Tim Langford. I should probably start that way. And I'm, I'm proud to be able to say that I'm a part of uh, Gordon Marketing here out of central Indiana and uh, um, just overwhelmed with being able to introduce to you uh, Biff Baker. Uh, uh, before, uh, before we get too far into this, I want to, to always remind you every Tuesday at 11 a.m., you can plug into Eastern Time, you can plug into a training webinar. We're either going to be going over what I call a, a core product and or service, what I call a game changer, Next week, I'm going to be talking about how to set up a, a lead system. I've had some issues uh, with, with agents saying, where do I go next? Or, or I wouldn't call them issues as much as uh, uh, some concerned agents saying, you know, what do I do next? Or I'm going to give you some very concrete steps of what to do with setting up a lead program for yourself so that you don't go searching and, and go fishing for well, what, where, where am I going for my next appointment? Let's let's solve that, and and we'll go over that next Tuesday. Every Friday at 11 a.m., you can plug into this uh, the same GoToWebinar platform. We use the GoToWebinar platform so that you can type in questions. Um, thank you, Michael. Uh, uh, just as as Michael said, uh, hey, I'm I'm, I'm hearing everybody. Um, so you can type in questions, and Biff will answer those questions for you at the end of our webinar. This will last me about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, if Biff will be able to go a few minutes after that, I will pepper him with questions that you may have that you can type in now. I'll try to answer them as we go. But, uh, oh, my goodness, I, I sat down with uh, um, with two families on uh, on Saturday, was only I was only able to uh, to have time to sit with two families. Wrote two Phoenix applications um, for about twenty six hundred dollars, and uh, one I've already got that said, "Hey, you're uh, this one's approved," and the other one uh, I'll probably see approval for that either today or tomorrow if she's going to get approved. We don't know sometimes, but uh, fantastic to be able to write business within forty eight hours to get it approved, within another forty eight hours to see money in your account. That's what's happening with the Phoenix Express, and I know Biff will, will go over that as well. Friday at 11 a.m., an agent who's making it happen, make sure you plug in with the – we've got Richard, who is uh, one of our, our directors for the Federal Employee Program. Um, might be an option for you. We're being very selective right now. Um, states are filling up kind of quickly, but if that interests you, um, Richard will talk about that a little bit and talk about his tremendous success he's had with, uh, uh, with mortgage protection sales. Biff, thank you for, for uh, joining us today and uh, welcome to, uh, to our Tuesday webinar. Hey, thanks, Tim. I'm very, very happy to be here and thank you for this opportunity to visit with you and the agents that have uh, chosen to take valuable time out of their days to listen to what it is that we have to say. And I, I trust and hope that they will get something of benefit from this meeting. But I want to begin by thanking you, Tim, not only for what it is that you do, but your personal business, as you just mentioned. But Gordon Marketing overall has done such a fantastic job with Phoenix <clears throat> through the last year. And we're very impressed with you and very honored to be a partner with your firm. So without further ado, I, I will jump right into this. But I, I, well, one thing I will add is that I'm sure that I can't live up to the higher power that you mentioned. <laughs> so I hope everyone out there doesn't expect too much from me. Um, but with that said, I am going to speak to you about a couple of different things today. First, the focus has been, as the billing suggests, on term life insurance, which oftentimes is used as a mortgage protection device, but obviously we all know that term life insurance and life insurance in general can be used for many other purposes, not just to pay off a mortgage, but also to replace lost income when the breadwinner dies, right? So the Safe Harbor term product really has been a tremendous product for Phoenix Life Insurance Company over the last year and a half. And if you're not already familiar with Phoenix, I'll share with you a couple of things. If there's just one thing that you'll learn from this slide, and I'm not going to read everything, it's that Phoenix insured Abraham Lincoln. So a lot of times we'll sit down and visit with clients and not know, they won't know, who, who is Phoenix like? Are they in Arizona? I've had people come up to me at 
uh, conventions and seeing our banner, wonder if we're Phoenix University, <laughs> you know. So there's all kinds of misconceptions around the word or name Phoenix. Uh, actually, Phoenix is headquartered in Hartford, Connecticut. I reside in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for what it's worth. But I do find that when you just tell people that, well, this is a company that insured Abraham Lincoln, it immediately puts their minds to ease, immediately. So Phoenix, historically, had been in different markets other than the simplified issue business, if you will. Uh, but we made a very uh, strategic decision in 2008 to move into what we call the middle market. And certainly this term product in particular has been one of the great reasons why we've been able to enjoy tremendous success. And obviously because you have chosen to work with us. So we're doing everything within our power to prepare or develop products that are going to help you to increase sales in the middle marketplace. And when you think back, when I think back to 2008, the first way we got into the middle market really was through annuities. And you see before you our product portfolio. So from the annuity business, we were able to jump into the life insurance business. And right in the middle of your screen, you see Simplicity Index Life. And that is a simplified issue. IUL product. We're not going to spend any time on that today, but know that it's available to you for those folks that are looking to save money, if you will, through a life insurance vehicle uh, with, uh, with with an ability to extract cash, uh, perhaps on the back end, you know, say around retirement age, uh, and generate a tax-free income. From there, we generated or developed the Remembrance Life product, and I will touch a little bit on that today. That is a simplified issue whole life policy that happens to play pretty well in the final expense market, but it is very unique. And then, of course, Safe Harbor Term Life is the most recent product that we've developed, and we have two different varieties of that, if you will. Um, and then you see yet another annuity, which does provide some types of care benefit, uh, which might include, say, uh, staying in a nursing home, that sort of thing. So we have a very solid array of annuities a strong life insurance portfolio that we believe for the majority of your clients w would be able to be useful. When I think about why it is we've developed what it is that we developed, we, we obviously need to think about what is it that clients are looking for, right? Well, clearly, you know, in purchasing life insurance, they want to gain peace of mind, right? They want to make sure that their families are going to be protected should they move to their permanent address. They not only want to cover their mortgages, as we talked about, but what about the ability to save money or have the money available if they're not here to enable their kids to go to college, as an example? And what if there were a way to be able to enjoy a more comfortable retirement, right? This is, you know, the events of 2008 still linger, where people lost a lot of money in the stock market, right? So you look at annuities and you look at the simplified issue IUL and all of a sudden these become very attractive products for people that are looking or seeking to save money for retirement. And of course, healthcare costs are something that just, uh, regardless of what the uh, talking heads tell us on television with respect to inflation, we all know that healthcare costs rise at a pace that is much greater than other cost of living factors, right? And of course, if we do live, we wanna make sure that we're going to enjoy a, a decent quality of life, right? So what is it that really set Phoenix apart was the statistic that you see before you on the screen. We decided that we needed to get into what I'll call the packaged product business. Meaning, if I can do more than one thing with my dollar, would that be attractive to the average man out there? You know, we all have a certain income, we have to live within our own budgets respectively, right? And if I can get a dollar to do more than one thing, would that be perceived to be a strong value? When you look at some of these statistics before you, the fact that one in two men will have contracted cancer before they die, or one in three women, and that 800,000 plus stroke victims occur every single year in the United States, heart attacks are still the number one killer in the United States, and yet 
they don't always kill us, right? The, the modern science that you know takes place in the medical field is something where those items that used to kill us almost instantly, we are able to live through today for sometimes long periods thereafter, right? And most people, you can see, most people will require some form of long-term care assistance in their lifetimes. So could we develop a product that might address these specific types of ailments or conditions that afflict many of the people that we, that we visit with, right? Now, I will tell you that the packaged product or combination benefit life sales have grown substantially. Clearly, I don't yet have numbers for 2015. But I can tell you this, if you're not on board this train, it's going to pass you by. So you can't look at just who has the cheapest premium, okay? Because you have to consider whether or not the package of products meets all these different objectives. It provides a death benefit and it provides benefits potentially for some of those conditions that we just showed you, right? But you look at this combination benefit sales uh, trajectory, and it's just astonishing, right? I mean, it, it's grown to, it was projected to be almost $4 billion in 2015. And that's why I say we need to get on this train. Again, you know, not to threaten you, but I mean, if you're not using this and someone comes in behind you with these types of products, what might that do to your sale? Something to think about. So we introduced the Safe Harbor Term product with living benefits that not only provides the needed term protection, and you can see that you can buy 10, 15, 20, or 30 year periods depending on the age, but it includes a critical illness rider, a chronic illness rider, a terminal illness, and also an unemployment rider. Now Tim mentioned a moment ago about how quickly we were able to process business and Really, we have made vast improvements over the last year, huge strides in terms of speed or operational speed from your ability to get an app into us to our ability to get it out the door and get you paid. A lot of that is made possible as a result of eApps. I, I just can't encourage you enough to use eApps, right? On our Express product in particular, Many times, it never even goes to an underwriter. It goes through a process that we call straight through process. So we have what we call advanced case managers that run the underwriting rules engine. What that means is they're checking the prescription drug database. They're checking the MIB. On younger people, they're checking the driver's license records, right? If all of those things check out, boom, they can issue that policy right then and there. So that process can be done very, very quickly. I've had reports of people telling me that it's been done in minutes. Now, that's rare, okay? But certainly within the four-day time frame that Tim just illuminated on, that, that's very real. That, that is happening the majority of time with the clean cases. If something fails the straight through process, it does get referred to an underwriter and then it does slow down the process a little bit. We do, as I mentioned, have two different types of products. One is the Express. That's table four to standard, and the other actually can be rated up to table eight. And that's where you see APS possible. So if you use what we call safe harbor term low band, which goes up to 500,000 in death benefit, by the way, okay, um, we will, in many instances, require an attending physician statement. Clearly, the price is cheaper, at least if, if you're looking at a preferred rate. However, the process is much longer to complete because we have to rely on a doctor to send us their records, right? So that slows down the process. So express eApp very quick, get your clients covered, get yourself paid. Low band, competitive situation, APS is going to be required in the 85, I believe, or maybe it's 87% of the cases require an APS. Okay, so just know that those processes are very different and you can choose, you know, based on what it is, the situation that you're 
involved in at that particular time. But the most important thing that I feel about these combination benefits is that you are able to address more than one need with one dollar. I mentioned a moment ago that I'm from Philadelphia, and I just like to characterize this concept this way. Uh, I'm not sure who your cable company is, but Philadelphia is the home of Comcast, okay? And I'm sure you've all seen, no matter what cable company you might be with, the combination packages, right? You get your phone, your TV, your internet, all in one bill. Why is that popular? Well, you know, there's convenience, isn't there? Right? You, you just write one check to one place, take care of three things. There's also a perceived savings in combining all of those things or packaging them, right? That's kind of the concept here of having life insurance with living benefits. By the way, these same uh, living benefits are included on our Simplicity IUL product, and a couple of them, meaning critical illness, terminal illness, are also included in our Remembrance Life product. That's that simplified issue whole life product. So what are the age ranges and how much base amount can we purchase at any at, for any of these products, meaning the 10, 15, 20, or 30 year periods, right? And you can see before you on the screen what they are, right? You can get up to, and the Express product, up to 400,000 at age 50, up to 300,000 at age 60, 200,000 at 70, and call us nuts, but you can actually buy a 10-year term on an 80-year-old up to $100,000. That is unique in the industry, and it still includes those same living benefits. Again, I mentioned the simplified issue products are assumed to be table four to standard. So you might have somebody that has a couple of nicks and bruises, you know, they have uh, maybe diabetes, you know, they might be a little short for their weight, you know. We have a range that is available to you through an agent guide on our website, which I'll share with you in a few moments, okay. But that otherwise, if you went through a full underwriting process, might have been a table four, what I just described. Somebody who's 67 years old with diabetes that's, you know, a little short for their weight. Okay, that might be table four. Well, now you can give them a standard policy. By the way, you cannot be a tobacco user and have diabetes and allow and enable Phoenix uh, to issue the policy. That is a decline, just so you know. So you have to be a non-tobacco user if you have diabetes. Now, conversely, the safe harbor term life, which we used to call low band does afford slightly higher face amount, as you can see, up to 500000 versus 400000 right? But these are the scenarios or situations in which the majority of the time we're going to have to get an APS. It's still advantageous in that we're not sending um, someone out there to stick you with a needle, okay, or, or your client, you know, with a needle or ask them to uh, pee in a bottle, right? Um, none of that. But we do require, in most instances, instances of that attending physician statement. This may be the case, by the way, if you have someone where you are reasonably certain that they're not going to fit into the table four to standard box. Maybe they're a table five or a table six, and you can run those quotes right on your cell phone, okay? And you can run them online, and you can download our software directly to your uh, laptop, as an example. You can run them through your iPad if you're online things that, you know, a lot of people like to do, right? So you can compare rates very quickly and easily most of the time on the fly. I mentioned the accelerated benefit riders. We're going to dive into this a little bit, okay? These, the critical, chronic, and terminal illness all enable someone to accelerate up to, important words, up to 95% of their death benefit, okay? So people ask me all the time, how can there be no cost, quote unquote, for these benefits? Well, you know, there is a cost. It's not an additional cost in the form of premium up front, but the cost is that if you accelerate that, that, that benefit, it's going to be something less than what the total death benefit was that you purchased. And I'll show you a couple of examples, all right? We're somewhat unique in that there's no waiting period for any of these benefits, okay? So a lot of carriers require you, uh, particularly on the chronic side, have been in a policy for two years before you can 
accelerate the benefit for that particular illness, chronic illness, okay? But the way these things are worked or calculated is really an actuarial calculation that takes into account not only the severity of one's condition, but what the impact is on their life expectancy. And that's why even though we say you can accelerate up to 95%, the likelihood that your client will get 95% is really predicated upon how, you know, it's hard to say, but how close to death are they <laughs> relative to the years of term that might be left, okay? Now, also unique is the ability to access these benefits more than one time. So we actually give your clients a choice. Let's say they had a serious heart attack and they came in and wanted to accelerate, um, we'll say 50% on a $100,000 death benefit policy. Well, we come in, we offer them the 50,000. They don't have to take the 50,000. They can say, you know what, I just want the 30,000 to pay my doctor bills, right? Leave the rest intact, right? So they would have 70,000 of death benefit, which isn't simple math left over. Let's say a couple of years later they have a more serious critical illness, like a stroke, right? They can go in and take, say, another 50,000, right? And still leave some death benefit. We don't track what it is that somebody does with the money. So it's not like an indemnity plan uh, on the health insurance side, right? You're just accelerating death benefits. It's the trigger that we're concerned with. Did you have a heart attack, a stroke, or stroke, cancer, kidney failure, major organ transplants, or Lou Gehrig's disease? These are the specific critical illnesses that are triggers for accelerating a death benefit. But what you do with that money, should you choose to accelerate, is your business or your client's business. So we may have people that say, you know what? I just want to be able to take the trip of a lifetime with my family. They have new, newfound, quote unquote, cash to be able to do that. Now, it's also important for me to note that when someone accelerates a benefit, the resulting death benefit, so let's go back to my first example. Somebody came in, they wanted 50% of their 100,000, they chose 30, there was 70,000 left. The premium goes down to what it would be at 70 grand and the current age. Okay, so you're not paying for the 100,000 still after you've accelerated. Very important to know. So let's look at a specific example. Here's a gal who is only 40 who unfortunately, uh, 22 years into her 30 year policy has developed breast cancer. So what might this look like? So she chooses to come in and accelerate 95% of her death benefit, which works out to $237,500. But because her likelihood of death is not necessarily imminent, okay, the actual calculation works out to $142,646. That's the amount of cash that we would give her. Now, it's very difficult, these types of calculations, and we're not going to get into it really, okay? But suffice it to say that she only had eight years left on this 30-year term policy. We're not necessarily believing that she's going to die within eight years. That's why the offer, quote unquote, is 143,000 in the round numbers, okay? But what happens is you subtract the 237.5 from the 250, and you end up with 12.5. So she takes 143, she is left with a $12,500 policy. So there was no premium cost for this, but the cost, if you will, comes on the back end in that it's based on what is the likelihood that Phoenix would have paid that $250,000 claim by the time she turned age 70, okay? Plus, there's discounting, right? Because now our premium is going to be far less than we're going to receive, and we're not investing that money, so we're discounting that at a current interest rate, whatever it is at the time of claim. So that's how that works. I'm sure you'll have questions about that. 
I'm, I hope that I'll be able to answer them, but I really don't get into the weeds with clients this way, right? It's just really comforting for them to know that should the need arise, they have access to money that otherwise they would not have had access to had they bought a policy that didn't have these living benefits. Okay. Another example, similar example, but this is one showing you where the guy chooses to take less than what it is that he was offered and then ultimately comes back with a second ailment down the road. All right. So I'm just showing you here that here's a gentleman that takes asks for 50%, okay, finds out that he's really eligible for something less than that, right? He takes that amount, he's left with $100,000, and then unfortunately later in his life he is accelerating or has suffered another chronic illness and is accelerating again. But is still with left, left with some modicum of death benefit um, after his second acceleration. So a lot of people would look at this and say, well, you know, at least you're left with a final expense policy, right? Again, that's all provided that this happens within the term of years that you chose to purchase at outset. And then the terminal illness, the, the terminal illness is really where, you know, you're going to get the 95%, right? Because it's deemed to mean that life expectancy is 12 months or less, okay? So why would somebody accelerate for a terminal illness? Well, again, it might be just that family gathering, you know, that I spoke about. It might be to pay other bills, you know. It may be that they really didn't need the life insurance any longer, so I may as well accept it or accelerate it, right? A lot of, a lot of different reasons why people might make that choice. But it is, you know, when you have a terminal illness, the most, uh, the most amount that would be paid out. Oops, excuse me. Okay. The unemployment rider, it's just a nice little thing to be able to talk to younger people about should they become unemployed. Um, we would waive six months of their premium if they've been unemployed for at least uh, four weeks. This is built into the product without additional cost. You get it whether you want it or not. <laughs> okay. Um, and you can see the qualifications. You have to have filed for and be receiving uh, state or federal unemployment um, uh, benefits. This is not an accelerated benefit, right? So this does have a two-year waiting period from the time that the policy was issued. You can only do it one time and it automatically drops off the policy at age 65. You can add at your choice an accidental death benefit rider. It's a true accidental death benefit. You can choose actually an amount within a range up to 100% of the base death benefit. Okay. It is for additional cost, however. So to be candid with you, we don't see a ton of those, but there are some. You know, there are some, you know, quite a few sales that do come with the accelerated death benefit rider. Um, but you know, it's a pretty standard thing. I mentioned the e-apps. I mean, this is the way to go. It really is the way to go. You can't. It's it's almost impossible to make a mistake. You know, that's the big advantage of it. You you will always have the right forms. You know, based on the state that you're entering. Um, it reduces NIGOs, what we call not in good orders, which obviously slows down the process. If we have NIGOs, it slows down the process. So e-apps, you know, virtually rid us of those not in good order applications, okay? And you can electronically sign this. I mean, a person can literally sign your, your iPad, right? They can use a mouse. You can also do it via email. Right? The client digitally signs the email. All of this process, and then we have a really good tutorial on it on our website. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend much time on the process. It's pretty straightforward. You can do apps or you can do paper apps. You can mail them, fax them, email them. You know, it's a pretty straightforward thing. Um, we do not allow you to call an underwriter. We don't have that many underwriters really to sit by and wait for the phone to ring. Okay. Uh, but we will do, we do recognize that there are some times where you may not want to take an application um, in advance of knowing what the probability is that, that, that Phoenix would issue the policy. And for that, we have this quick quote type of assessment process where you uh, email to the email address that you see before you on your screen 
uh, what the situation is, okay? And we would then get back to you within 24 hours. This is only available for the fully underwritten, if you will. It's not really truly fully underwritten, but you get the one where we get ATSs and where the face amount applied for will be greater than $100,000. We have a full suite of, uh, of uh, brochures and so forth. We have you know, pretty straightforward questions uh, that you know, if, you, um, if you'd like, you can go through those and know if somebody says yes to something on the first page, that that policy won't be issued, so move on, right? We're just trying to save you time, us time, and then that's the way it goes. You can see that the product is approved in the overwhelming majority of states. It's not approved in Maine or New York. Um, and you can see that the unemployment rider is not approved in every state. It's not approved in Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, Tennessee, or Washington. And unfortunately, California is yet to approve any of the accelerated benefit riders. In fact, it's very difficult for the majority of carriers to get those riders approved. Uh, in the state of California, but we are working on it. We are working on it. And if you happen to be in Connecticut, we don't have the critical illness rider there. Now, I mentioned to you that you can do these quotes on your smartphone. You can see the link on your screen to do it. Uh, you could actually scan that, that barcode with your phone and it will open it up um, with your smartphone. Uh, <laughs> you can visit phoenixsalesnet.com and we are always open and willing to talk with you should you have questions. And I would tell you that the people on our sales desk are very knowledgeable. And these are the people that I go to when I have questions. They know a heck of a lot more than I do. Most of them are, list, are headquartered in our home office, not all of them, okay? But that phone number is 888-794-4447, okay? Um, these are the folks, again, they'll run a quote for you. They'll help walk you through the illustration system if you need it. If you need to order materi materials, they'll help you with that. They have cursory knowledge from an underwriting standpoint in that they have access to the same agent guide that you also would have access to and can give you a somewhat informed idea as to whether or not something could be approved, but it's not an official answer. They're not underwriters, okay? We do have a very robust online system for tracking your business. Um, I should point out that, that e-apps and case tracking are not available until you've sold one sale with Phoenix, okay? So that your very first application has to be all paper. Then we get you a, in a code. We cannot pre-contract you, all right? We do what we call just-in-time contracting, and that's coincident with the first app that you that you send us, okay? First app, all paper. Thereafter, you'll have a code. You'll be able to track your business online. You'll be able to call the toll-free number that you see there, 800-417-4769, um, and talk to a new business representative uh, if you can't get online, for example. We have, um, you know what I want to do, actually, bear with me one second, is jump on to our website and share with you exactly what it is that you will see. And I'm going to log in. Now, you really don't have to log in to gain some information, but you will have to log in to gain specific information on the Safe Harbor Term product. It's what we call a protected product. Not everyone is able to sell it, okay? It's uh, not an arduous process. You do not have to first be contracted with Phoenix to register for this website. You just attest that you are a financial advisor, and then you will gain access to much of the information that I'm sharing with you right now, okay? So this is our web portal, and you can see that we have a list of products, so I just click on life insurance, okay? And I'm going to just click on Safe Harbor Term Express. And everything that I want to know that has been covered on this webinar so far is right here on one page. You can see. You can point your phone to this screenshot, okay, and get that smartphone quote tool. These are awesome. I just save them in my favorites. I use an iPhone. I just save them in my favorites through Safari, and then they're always there, right? So quick and easy. Uh, obviously, don't need to be online to generate a quote. But the range of face amounts, um, 
the premium or modal factors are there. I'm sure that most of you are just going to run the smart pump code tool, so you probably don't need to know those modal factors. But I mentioned to you the agent guide, and that's here under marketing materials, right? So we have the brochures, which you're able to download. Uh, we can actually print them for you and mail them to you if you needed them, okay? There's also a physical rate card if you prefer to do things that way versus using your computer or phone. But this is the Bible, if you will, the agent guide, okay? And you can see there's quite a bit of information available here, not only the product information, but all the questions and answers that you might have. And But really what you want to get to, I think, is some of the underwriting information. And you can see that the two products are listed here, and they are a little bit different as ter in terms of ranges of weight, right? So if I have a guy under Express that's 6 feet, 260 pounds, well, that fits within the table for the standard, doesn't it? Because we will allow up to 312 pounds, okay? Now, where things get a little tricky is I have somebody that's 6 foot, 312 pounds, has hypertension and diabetes. That's not going to get through, folks. Not in the express bucket, okay? That is not. So don't be at the top end of this weight range and also have two other ailments, right? You kind of want to know that the guy is 260 and maybe has a couple of those ailments. That might work, all right? So it's, you know, not a perfect science. You know, we can't actually put out there every single instance because so many things are unique. However, this is a very good guide for at least giving you cursory knowledge of the capacity of underwriting or what it is that we will take or accept. There is a very detailed list of impairments for both products, meaning the one that's underwritten using an APS and the one that is expressed, and whether or not something is acceptable. Okay? So I mentioned diabetes. I'm just going to scroll down to diabetes. This seems to be a pretty common one. And you can see that non-insulin dependent or even insulin dependent, okay, over age 30, if you contracted the disease after age 30, we, we may be able to take that, okay? If unfortunately you started under age 30, they call that juvenile diabetes, and that is a decline. That's a decline in most carriers even that do complete full underwriting, okay? But again, that is also acceptable in the express product the majority of the time. Um, heart attacks, you can see, are declines. If you've had somebody that's had these conditions, they're a decline. So I would just urge you to jump online, download this to your desktop, or reference it while online at your leisure. It does get updated from time to time, okay? But familiarize yourself with these conditions and whether or not Phoenix would take the case just to save you and your client time, right? So it's a really strong agent resource. All the phone numbers that I mentioned to you earlier, the ways of doing the business, all of that is available for you right here. Now, <clears throat> quotes. You can generate quotes or illustrations right here, as I mentioned. You can download this to your desktop. You first go there. And then you can say download now, and everything would, go, would just download right to your desktop. Okay? It takes about 15 minutes. For some reason, it uh, kicked me out. Let me log in again. And this should open up the code tool. There you go. So these are the various quotes that would uh, quoting tools that would download to your desktop. And again, I can just access this online very quickly. And boom, here you go. Let's say I have somebody that's 50 years old, standard 20-year term, 200,000, generate quote. So $94.76 a month on the 10-year, 131. So you get a matrix of what this would cost per month based on the sum of years or the term that the person is buying. You can input this your information obviously here. Okay, it will be there every time. Uh, you can put the client's name on there clearly. All right. You can email it directly to your client if you'd like. You can print it. You know, whatever you choose to do. And when you do print, okay, it's going to come up as a PDF and you have 
what the what, again what those prices would be over the term of years that you've chosen along with that matrix. But really, the nice thing here is that it does mention the various benefits that are available with the product, and we get a little bit of explanation around them as well. Very good, quick little quote tool. I might be getting long in the tooth, Tim. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bear with me. You're doing great, Biff. No, this is this is this is awesome. Okay. Um, so getting back in, I, I mean, the website is really, it, it, you know, it's everything. Um, this is really what you want to be able to access to gain the information. If you need it, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, the first app has to be paper. You just come in here, click on Apps and Forms, click the Life Radio button, choose Safe Harbor Term Express, okay, and then you're going to select the state, right? So you put in Indiana, Indiana, Indiana. <laughs> and why do we do this? Well, because sometimes somebody is buying something in your office in Illinois, right? Uh, but they live in Indiana, so you'd need a HIPAA form for Indiana, right? But the sale is taking place in Illinois, so it might be an Illinois app, right? I click on Get App, and then it's pre-populated as to the required forms. There are other forms that you can elect to take, like if you were doing a replacement, right? I would have to check that physically. But the pre-population already occurs, and I can just say open all selected forms, and then print them out right next to my computer here. And you can see the total of 11 pages. The app itself is only five pages, right? But this is that section, the screening questions, if you will, that basically tells you, if you get a yes to any of these, put the pen down and move on, right? So a very straightforward app. Now, you'll see that there are a couple of options here, and I want to note that this app is being updated and will be changed very shortly, OK? Uh, a lot of people, of course, like to use EFT. At one time, we allowed savings accounts. We no longer allow savings accounts. It, there were just too many problems with trying to get the money low, correct. It, it just really wasn't worth it for us, to be honest. So you have to have a checking account for to be selling a Phoenix product. The client must have a checking account. We don't take credit cards. We're not drafting from savings accounts. We won't take a money order. Okay, it has to be drafted from a checking account. Or of course, the person can just pay you right there on the spot. I mean, that's the way I was brought up. You know, I always believed that a sale wasn't consummated unless I got the check <laughs> from the client physically. Right? Then I knew that I had their buy-in for sure. Right? So, uh, but it is common, of course, that people would uh, prefer to just have it automatically drafted, right? You're going to sign, and then there is a place where we ask you to put your name, right? So even if you don't yet have a producer ID number, that's okay. You just put on in your last four of your social security number, we'll find you, okay? Match things up, and we will get you paid. Not a problem. Um, and then there is the the HIPAA form, obviously, which we need to have back. But everything that you need is right here, so it's, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, just think if there's anything that I've missed on the website. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You really just want the ability to go and get the applications, the quoting tool, okay? And then if you want materials, if you would like to download them yourself, you can go right to this marketing catalog and print them. But more often than not, I would tell you people call our sales desk and say, hey, can you order me you know, 10 or 15 of this brochure, the client brochure, as an example? And we're happy to send them to you. By the way, I didn't really get into um, the Remembrance Life product the way that I said I would. I don't want to get too long in the tooth, but I am going to click on it real quick because the one thing that makes this product unique, particularly in the final expense marketplace, is 
that it offers the critical illness rider. I'm not aware of any final expense carrier that does that, and it is competitive from a pricing standpoint. Again, all the same information is available when you should click through. I just would like to encourage you all, if you're not already doing it, to have some time. You know, jump on this web portal. Uh, there's a wealth of information. Just hunt around. Use our sales desk, you know, to answer any questions that you might have. That's what we're here for. Oops. So that's pretty much what I had to cover, Tim. I hope I've answered some questions and given some people an ability. Oh, there's one thing that I do want to say as it relates to Remembrance Life. I mean, the, the thing that I said about critical illness, the thing, I, I'll tell you, we make a lot of sales with Remembrance Life, particularly in the state of Florida. And a reason is that a lot of those people buy Medicare Advantage policies, right? And in many counties, they're free. Now, I don't know the story in Indiana off the top of my head. But I can tell you what happens is a lot of those agents go back to those clients after the quote unquote Medicare Advantage season is done and say, hey, you know, I know that you were thinking of buying something to, you know, to bury you, right? To put, to have the cash flow available, uh, to put you in the ground or cremate you, you know. Um, but here's a product that for ostensibly the same cost could provide access in the event of a specific critical illness, like the heart attack, cancer, stroke, what happens. The deductible on your Medicare Advantage plan could be up to $3,200, depending on what illness it is, what affliction you've had. This is a great way of being able to access a piece of that death benefit to help defray those, those costs. So I just want to share that quick little sales idea with you, right? as something that does set the Remembrance Life product apart from most others. But I do welcome your questions and appreciate this opportunity, Tim, very greatly to visit with you and your folks today, share with you uh, a lot about the Safe Harbor term product. I know that you guys have done a great job um, with it thus far, and I hope that uh, I've given you some reason at least to continue to utilize the product and maybe make it the first app that you reach for in your bag. I do see a couple of questions here. I'm not the most technical, technologically proficient person when it comes to this kind of thing, Tim. Um, but here was somebody that wrote, I think I've, you can I've answered only use every, paper app. Uh, Doug. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I've, if I've answered, I'm talking to okay. somebody by the name of Doug. But I've answered all of them. Uh, um, but it, maybe some clarification, if you would uh, be able to, to, to share, yeah. share a few more minutes here. Um, I did want to, to let you know we... Uh, we are in over 40 states this afternoon. Now, now almost uh, still late this morning, at least on the East Coast. Um, we've got uh, Lily from Hawaii to Dave to Texas to Mark to in Florida to Kerry in in D.C. up to Fred to Michigan. We've got Jennifer in Montana. We've got Rocky in in Nevada. Just to let you know the kind of impact that you're having right now across the nation, I want to give you kudos because you were very plain, just very plain spoken. I thought it was excellent, Diff. Thank you for for being as direct, and it's and that's one of the main reasons why I I, I promote Phoenix so heavily. Is uh, yeah, there's no questions uh, that you really, uh, if you will dive into that that uh, your Bible. Just like uh, just like you shared, yeah. you've got to get into that uh, agent guide. Um, maybe a clarification on the uh, the guaranteed issue portion of uh, of a term life app. Uh, to what amount of face value can we and and till what time uh, of that face? Say say it's a twenty year, two hundred and fifty thousand dollar term. To what extent can we? go with a uh, uh, guaranteed issue, what amount and to what term, because there, there, there is a specific term that we have to convert it in or can it convert it over before it goes too far into that term. Okay, well, first thing you mean about, there's, first, there's no such thing as guaranteed issue. I'm sorry. At Phoenix, or guaranteed, guaranteed, guaranteed anything, but the conversion you're referring to? Just the guaranteed insurability, yes. We don't even offer guaranteed insurability as like an option to purchase more down the road, okay? But we do have the ability to convert the policy, say, to remembrance or simplicity, IUL, right? Um, and I'm just trying to find my screen that I believe addressed that. 
I guess the part of the Sorry. guarantee is that they don't have to provide medical information. Right, and that's only for conversion. So Correct. if you have somebody right. that say that bought a 10-year policy um, at age 50, right, they're going to be able to convert that policy um, for, I believe it's five years, okay? Uh, and it does vary, so give me a second, actually. Let me just get back in here. I can share that information directly with you. It's, it's in here. Um, and that's usually what I preach is is 50%. I think uh, on a couple of them, it can go up to 60%. But yeah, I always preach you have to do it within 50% of the years that it's that it's been approved for. Yeah, that's generally the case. Uh, but it does also vary by age. So I just want to be clear about that. There you go. Here it is, right here at the bottom of the page, term conversions. So you have a 10-year product, you can convert it for five years, seven. Yeah, it is very close to 50% with the exception of the, the 30 years. still only convertible for the first 10 years. True, you're right. Okay, but again, you know, that's for folks that, you know, decide that they need permanent coverage, right? Or you may find that, you, have, you know, the way I was taught, if you will, you sold term insurance to cover quote unquote bulge needs, right? So if I have a younger person that I'm talking with, they may want to try to be actually doing two different things at the same time. So maybe there's a basic level of coverage, let's say $100,000 that I might use the Simplicity product for and they're going to contribute or overfund that. And then for the bulge needs, right, 300000 in term insurance, say for 20 years until the kids or out of the house, right? So, and that's very typical. And then when the person chooses, they can convert a piece of that term, not all of it necessarily, but a piece of it if they like, back to the simplicity product. And now they can actually now contribute even more towards the simplicity, which enables them, of course, to be growing money in a tax favored way and potentially getting your money out on a tax favored basis. So that's, that's the real sizzle, if you will, you know, in terms of being, you know, thoughtful and planning within the client's budget, right, mind you, right. But I do know, you know, you mentioned leads earlier, and I do know that so many people are focused on lead generation to develop sales, and it's a wonderful thing. Um, but I guess what we have to get in the habit of doing is asking some more questions beyond just what it is that the lead sheet might show us, you know. And I'm sure most of you that are good salespeople are doing that already, right. But we need to be talking to people overall about their planning. What is it that they're doing with their money? What their goals and objectives are? I, I happen to be a certified financial planner. And to me, financial planning is a very simple thing. It's just time and money. When do you want it? And how much do you need? Okay? So if you just focus on those kinds of questions, that will dictate the base of the pyramid, meaning how much pure protection do I need and then what are the other elements that I can attach to this pyramid as we go up to help you to achieve your goals, right? And there's an annuity might be an answer, right? I mean, I, we sell a ton of annuities, billions of, well, a billion roughly a year, of annuities to people that are over 60 that are looking to increase their cash flow relative to alternative investments. And all of a sudden, the found premium is there for the remembrance product. And I'm telling you, people that aren't, you know, in luxurious neighborhoods or that kind of thing, I mean, I, I, I know guys that go into some very tough areas. And no matter what, I mean, even that person has $17,000 sitting in a bank someplace, earning nothing ostensibly, less than 1%. And you can increase their cash flow five times, you know, based on age. You are a savior to those people. And now you've found the money to really wrap up their financial plan within their budget. 
more than you bargained for there on that one, Tim. <laughs> uh, not absolutely perfect. No, and and they can convert the entire amount up uh, up and over it. And what I was referring to is guaranteed insurability that there is no health checks, so whatever they qualified for. If they qualified for standard or, or 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 you know even they had to be rated, that's the the classification that they can still continue on over with the with the insurability. Um, yeah, that's absolutely true. That is a big advantage, isn't it? Because it you, is. you issue a policy that's preferred and the person you know, seven years down the road isn't as healthy, they can convert it still at that preferred rate. Very, very cool. And to encourage our agents to to sell more, if you know, our our our, our traditional agent will start about a 75% contract. Whatever contract that you're on, uh, speaking more to the agents, that's the contract you're on. So when I share, hey, we're starting our new agents at 75%. You know, if you've been promised and, and you're at an 80% or any other, um, that's your contract. We're not going back and and changing anything. Um, but to understand that chart that I sent out, and I'll send it out again this afternoon, um, we've, we've got a chart to help people get all the way up to a 120% contract. It, it, based on production, you start you know, doing uh, um, $150,000, $200,000 a year, um, you'll, you'll be able to be moved all the way up to a 120% contract. Phoenix is one of the only term company carriers out there that will uh, give you renewals on term that's crazy Biff that is huge in our industry and uh, just more kudos to to Phoenix for for stepping up and and doing that yeah well, thank you we appreciate that well, I, I mean the focus of Phoenix has always been on consumer value and Asian value right so I mean what the actuaries struggle with is juggling those two items and at the same time you know being able to remain in business right we have to make a profit keep the lights on and so forth, right? But that our primary focus has always been consumer and agent value. So again, that speaks to why we structured the commission's schedules the way that they are, such that you are able to also gain some renewals. Perfect. Well, I've I've tried. I think I've answered most of uh, most of everyone's questions. I've got a couple that I may answer offline. But you've been incredibly generous with your time, uh, uh, Mr. Baker. I, I appreciate you and 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 have for the last five years uh, after after meeting you in our previous uh, previous. Uh, yes, uh, as we do. Uh, you. <laughs> sure. So absolutely, we, you come through uh, uh, as as I knew uh, as I knew you you, you would. Um, it looks like uh, yeah we, we've 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 got pretty much all the uh, the questions answered. Uh, don't forget, guys, this Friday at 11 a.m. you're going to hear uh, from uh, from an agent who's uh, who's making it happen. Next Tuesday at 11 a.m. we're going to I will go will personally go over uh, how to set up a profitable lead program. Don't forget that this weekend is the Super Bowl weekend for Christianity. This is our Super Bowl. If you believe in our Lord and Savior, make sure that you're someplace and celebrate with the rest of your family. Um, if uh, if you uh, will do three things, if you will be an agent who's making it happen, if you go out and just say, I'm going to do this with my income, oh my goodness, guys, you should be at least on track or now maybe getting focused on being able to break six figures in this business. There's no reason why you can't use in carriers like, like Phoenix and, and the blessing that you have to be able to share with others. Number two, you will be an incredible blessing to your family. You know how I bless my family each year with some of the events and vacations that we take. It's because of carriers like Phoenix that gives me the opportunity to be, do my number one is to make up my, my, blow up my income. But number three, if we take care of number three the first two are always taken care of if you will go out and make it happen for that family in the field guys your income will blow up you will be able to be a tremendous blessing to your family to your church to your charity it will happen for you if you are willing to go out and make it happen for that family i wish you many blessings i look forward to connecting with you guys on uh, on friday of this week and uh, go be an agent who's making it happen thank you again biff i appreciate you Thank you. I appreciate you. Best of luck to everyone. Happy selling and happy Easter. Take care.